Yo, hello, what's up everyone? My name is Bilares and today I am back with another video. Today we're gonna do the Dream Mentor quest. So, what you will need for this quest is a minimum combat level of 85. You will have need to have completed the Lunar Diplomacy quest. You will need to have done the Edgar's Ruse quest. So, what you'll need for items is the Seal of Passage. You'll also need Goutweed. If you don't know how to get Goutweed, just click the first link in the description. Also, you'll need a Astral Rune. You will need a Tinder Box. You will need a Hammer. You will need Pestle and Mortar. And now for the food, you will need three different types of food. This is not a recommendation. You will need three types of food. In total, those three types of food combined must be 20. So this is seven, this is seven, this is six. So together this is 20 food in three different types. So two of your types of food should be seven. So seven lobsters in my case and seven monkfish. And one of them should be six. In my case that is salmons. I got a six salmons, seven monkfish and seven lobsters. I hope this was clear. If it was not clear enough, ask me some questions in the comments. I will reply as soon as I can. So for the location you will have to go to Lunar Island. If you don't remember how to get there you can just click the second link in the description. There you will see how to get to Lunar Island quite fast. So then you want to come all the way over here uh, to this little spot with the exclamation mark and you want to climb down the ladder over here. Great now you are down. Get all the way to the quest mark and you want to uh, crawl through the cave entrance. Here we go. Now you will see this fallen man. Talk to him. Yes. Now you will see the status, health, spirit, armament and it's all at 0%. But you can click on it to see more information on it, so you guys can see. Now what you want to do is feed all of those three types of food to him. So first I'm going to give him a lobster, then I'm going to give him a monkfish, then I'm going to give him a salmon. And normally this wouldn't be healthy but for him it helps for his health so keep feeding him three different types of food and as you guys can see it will always be better and you will even like start opening his eyes and shit and click the de second option you're looking better now You don't look dead anymore for a start. Then talk to him again. Are you looking forward to getting out? Just take it step at a time. Talk to him again. Actually you just want to talk to him. Uh, and you want to say positive things and you just want to do like for example uh, You seem like a nice guy for example. That's like positive things um, uh, Just being honest for example if you say wrong things, there's no problem You just do it again. So when we get out of here, I will buy you a drink for example and you, you will like that Then the first thing for example and as you guys can see, when you inspect, the spirit is going up as well. You want the hell to go up, but also the spirit. So that's really awesome. So continue talking to him. So yeah, continue talking to him. Sometimes give him shit to eat. And you want to wait until he even gets up more. So 
So when he gets even more up, you want to give him even more food. And you want to talk even more to him. And that, that's really awesome. So yeah, continue all the way. Okay, he's got up. That's awesome. It could take some time and sometimes it's kind of difficult to know what you will exactly have to do, but just feed him and talk to him like positively and it will it will go go. Then you want to get out. And you want to go back up this ladder. Now get all the way out of here and you want to go back to the bank. So over here. Watch out for the suka though but yeah. And then when you are at the bank, you want to talk to the guy, um, Bird's Eye Jack. Serious in the mind, you want to say that. And then you go through the dialogue. Then what you want to take out of the bank is this dragon mad helm. You want to also take this Arim ro um, Arim's rope skirt. You also want to take the Arim's rope top and you want to take a whip and the ranger boot. Then you quit and look in serious chest and then you will see if you got everything. So then, so then go all the way back to the man in the cave. And climb down the ladder. and crawl through the cave entrance. Talk again to Cyrus's and do the first option. And now he will have his armor on. Now you want to give him the rest of the food. You want to talk to him even more. And then you want to inspect him. And you want him to have 100% health and spirit. And when that's done you'll be fine. So first give him all the food you've got. Uh, if he doesn't want it. For example he rejects the food. Then you want to give another type of food. And you want to do that all the way until he's at 100% health and then you also want to talk to him until his um, spirit is at 100% so I'll see you guys back when that's done. So then you just want to go through all the dialogue and go back out. Then you want to get out and grab some food at the bank if you want or some prayer potions because you gotta fight later on.
Now you want to wear your seal of pa passage and you want to go all the way to the south. Now you will go all the way until you find One Romancer. You want to talk to her. And you want to talk about Cerises. And here is Cerises. Now you will get a dream vial empty. Now you want to go all the way back until you're back in town and you want to go next to the bank in a building next to the bank where you see a water dot so go there So when you're there you want to use the dream vial empty on the sink so now you will no normally have a dream vial water then you want to use the gutweed on the vial of water and after that you want to use the hammer on an astro rune now you will get astro rune charge Shards, which you will use on the Vestalian Mortar, which will give you ground astral rune. So that you will use that on the dream vial, and now you will have a dream potion. Okay, now get ready for the fight. There's one thing that you have to keep in mind is I forgot that, but you can't use pray prayer during this fight. So take enough food, really, because those monsters are really strong enough. And if you have ranged or ma magic, take that as well. So when you're finished and you took everything you need for the fight, you want to go all the way to where I go, uh, to this little building. Then you want to use the tinder box on the ceremonial brazier. Now it will lit and you want to talk to Cerise. Yes, let's go. Now get ready for the fight. I'm gonna speed up the clip, you will just get multiple monsters which you will have to defeat and yeah, it will always get stronger and shit, so yeah, watch out. Okay, once the fight is done, you just want to go all the way back. They want to talk about Cerises. 
And then you want to go through all the dialogue and then you will have completed the quest. So, anyways people, thanks for watching, you have now got 2 quest points, 15k hit points xp, 10k magic xp, an experience lamp and more lunar spells. Anyways people, I really hope you guys enjoyed your video, so please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Hope to see you guys tomorrow with another video and I will see you guys then. Bye!